Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord, saints. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made for us to come into his courts with thanksgiving and with praise. The day that the Lord has made for us to rejoice and to be glad in. For it's another day that God has allowed us to see. And we thank God for this day. We thank God for each one of you, those who we've not seen in a while, who have been on the prayer list, and they're now here today. We welcome all of you who are watching via Facebook. We welcome you this day to another worship service in Faith Temple Church. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 We give glory to God. I just thank God. I thank God. I praise God. I praise God. You know why I praise him? I didn't have to be here today. None of us had to be here today. And we had two things that happened that didn't happen, that God prevented from happening to my son and I in the Acme parking lot of all places. But I say, thanks be to God who watches over us, who takes care of us, who loves us, who cares for us, and he's given us an opportunity to assemble ourselves together today. If you'll stand, I'm going to quote my favorite scripture, John 3, 16 and 17. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth on him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. God, we thank you this day for another day to come together and to greet one another and to see the faces of our, of our brothers and sisters. We thank you, Lord, for your grace, your mercy, your loving kindness. Had it not been for you, Lord, where would we be? We thank you for this season. The gift, the biggest gift of all was your son. Lord, you gave your son, and his son gave his life for each one of us. Father, have your way this day in the service. Anoint the musicians. Anoint the praise and worship team. Lord, anoint each one of us. Flow through us. Lord, have your way in each one of our lives, for Lord, it is about, all about you. Lord, save, heal, deliver as only you can. We ask this in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, and amen. All right, everybody, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We've come to bless his name this morning. We've come to invite the Holy Spirit into this atmosphere. This song simply says, hello, you are welcome in this place. Amen. Hey. Who am I that you would come and see me? Hey. I'm overwhelmed. Can't Catch my breath, can hardly breathe, yeah. I'm excited, I can't sit down, I feel your spirit all around. I'm expecting a fresh anointing to feel this place right now.
come and see me, yeah. I'm overwhelmed, can't catch my breath, can hardly breathe, yeah. I'm excited, I can't sit down, I feel your spirit all around. I'm expecting a fresh anointing to fill this place right now. Let me say 
say I shall rise, I shall rise, I shall be, I shall be, I shall go, I shall go in victory, in victory, no weapon for, weapon against me, will ever overtake me, will ever overtake me. this morning because he alone is worthy and he said he'll make the rocks cry out and we don't want that to happen do we so we're going to offer up our praise and our worship to him this morning this song simply says here's my worship all of my worship you Lord you are worthy Should be you for me, for all the things you've done for me, and no one can worship you for me. So here's my worship, all of my worship. Receive my worship, yeah, all of my worship. Help me say you, Lord, you're worthy. You, Lord, you are worthy. And no one can worship you for me. And no one can worship you for me. For all 
the things you've done for me. No one can worship you for me. And no one can worship you for me. So here's my worship. Here's my worship. All of my worship. Receive my worship. All of my worship. City, here's my worship. Today we have someone that's no stranger to us that's going to bring us the word today, none other than Pastor Durwood Lockett. Let's give him a hand as he comes to us. Oh, look where he brought me from. 
What did he do, saints? He brought me out of darkness. Thank you, Jesus. From a long way long. He brought me out of darkness into the marvelous light. Y'all better leave me alone now. Y'all know I'm sanctified. Come on. Look where he brought me from. Everybody help me. Oh, he brought me out of darkness. Now put both hands together like sanctified folks. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. He's a good God. He's a loving Lord. He's a merciful Savior. And I bless his name. Oh, yeah. He brought me out of darkness into the marvelous light. Look where he brought. One more time, everybody say, look. Y'all ain't looking, look! He me. What did he do? He brought me out of darkness into the marvelous light. Look where he brought. Y'all ain't looking, come on! Look where he brought me. Oh, look where he brought. God did it, God did it. Brought me out of darkness into the marvelous light. Woo! Because God is my refuge, and God is my strength, God is my help, and God is my hope, God is my shield. He's my buckler. He's an anchor. How many of y'all have been looking? If you looked over this year, we've been through the storm and rain and sickness and pain, but God brought us. Hallelujah. And we worship him. And the church said, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. God did it. Oh, yeah. 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 Somebody see it. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Jesus, Jesus. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Say yeah. it. And one more time for good measure. Yes. One more time for good measure. Yes. God did it. God did it. Yeah, and I thank him, and I praise him, and I magnify him. Yeah, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, now. 
All right. Let me behave today. I love you all. You beautiful people here at Faith Temple. Yes, Lord, we love the Lord. Don't you play that note, Bishop. Oh, Lord. Because I feel a dance creeping up my left leg. And I feel a oh, the horse. Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm -mm -mm. God did something for Durwood Lockett one Friday night in a little sanctified church, an apostolic church, a Jesus only church. He saved me. He sanctified me. He filled me with his precious Holy Ghost. And that with fire. And I'll tell it everywhere I go. Hallelujah. There's only one name that's worthy of the praise. There's only one name that's worthy of the praise. There's only one name. There's only one name. There's only one name that's worthy of the praise. There's only one name that's worthy of the praise. There's only one name that's worthy of the praise. There's only one name. There's only one. There's only one name that's worthy of the praise. Y'all help me. There's only one name that's worthy of the praise. There's only one name that's worthy of the praise. There's only one name. There's only one name. I feel my Holy Ghost weeding, y'all. Y'all leave me alone. Oh, there's only one name that's worthy of the praise. There's only one name that's worthy of the praise. There's only one name. Ooh, there's only one name that's worthy of the praise. That name is Jesus. He's worthy of the praise. That name is Jesus. He's worthy of the praise. That name is Jesus. That name is Jesus. That name is Jesus. And he's worthy of the praise. Uh-huh. Holy Ghost Weedy, that's all that is. Oh, there's only one name that's worthy of the praise. There's only one name that's worthy of the praise. There's only one. There's only one name. There's only one name worthy of the praise. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. <laughs> Hallelujah. Get your Bible. One name worthy of the praise. There's only one name that's worthy of the praise. One name. There's only one name. Only one name. Get your Bible that's worthy of the praise. His name is Jesus. He's worthy of the praise. That name is Jesus. He's worthy of the praise. That name is Jesus. He's worthy of praise. All right. Mm -hmm. Y'all know better than invite me to Faith Temple because y'all know when I get here in Faith Temple, I don't know how to act. Hallelujah. And one of the reasons I don't know how to act is because you got Bishop on that organ and he sure know how to tap that Hammond B3. Is that all right? Bishop, we love you. And I so honor God for you, Bishop. Way back when I was in high school, ooh, ooh, and I ain't gonna tell you the year. You gotta figure it out, you gotta figure it out. I so remember Bishop, of course, teaching school, and you taught me there at John Richard Buchtel University Senior High School. And I so remember at Buchtel as a student, after school I would do little custodial work. That was my, my little after school job, making a little change. I like money. Oops. <laughs> and so he, Bishop had a gospel choir, but I didn't sing in the gospel choir. Why? Because I like money and I want to make some money. So I'm going to sweep and clean and empty the trash cans and all that type of thing. But I recall sweeping those halls and cleaning out the classrooms, emptying the trash cans. And as I would 
walk down the hall cleaning the floors, I would remember the music of the gospel choir. That's what I remember about high school. Not the shootings, the killings, the stabbings, the attacks. I remember in high school walking down the hall and hearing gospel music. Wow. We've come a long way, saints. Yes. We, we, we still have a long way to go, but, but Bishop, let me just say thank you for my formative years and what I remember and the impact that you've had on my life down through the years. And some of you remember I told you on several occasions that I would, uh, of course, clean Bukhtu, and then I would go to, uh, it, was, it was South, uh, Adult Basic Education, and that's where I first met Jerry Drone, the late Jerry Drone. And I would clean out his office, empty trash cans, vacuum, and we would sit in there so many days in his office. He said, Durwood, you got, you got to do your work, you got to do your work. He said, okay, I'm going to do my work, but let's talk about some gospel music. And we sit in his office and talk about gospel music all that afternoon. And Jerry told me about when he would attend years ago, the Gospel Music Workshop of America, and how he has had such an extensive uh, album collection and all of his gospel music. And of course, I remember the one song that so stuck with me that Jerry Drone taught uh, the choir years ago. And Bishop, let me hear just a little bit of that. I'm going to move out your way in a minute. Let me hear just a little bit of that. It was, um, he keeps doing great things for me. Y'all remember that tune? I'm talking about the impact that the Drone family has had on my life and just the music, if you will, the anointed gift. He keeps doing great things for me. Oh, yes, he keeps uh -huh, doing great things for me. Now I'll let you take it, Bishop. Let me let, let, me let you take it. That's it, that's it, that's it. He keeps doing great things. He keeps doing great things for me. Yes, yes, he keeps doing great things, doing great things for me. And if I had 10,000 tongues, y'all know that. Come on and help me, everybody. If I uh -huh, had 10,000 I would praise him oh his name with everyone if I had ten thousand tongues everybody if I had had ten ten thousand tongues I'd praise his name with everyone I would praise his name his name with every Everybody from the top, he keeps doing great things. He keeps, yes he does, doing great things for me. He saved my soul one day. Yes, he keeps, hold on, doing great things. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, he keeps, hold on, doing great things. Yes, Lord, doing great things for me. Clap your hands and give God praise. All right. Uh-huh. I love the Lord and I won't take it back. Uh-huh. I like good preaching and I like good singing. Mm-hmm. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you... And a happy year. Away in a manger. No crib for a bed. What about it, saints? The little Lord Jesus laid down his sweet air. The stars. I'm going somewhere with that. Look down where he lay. 
the little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. How lovely are your branches. I'm going somewhere. What well, Pastor Locke is singing those Christmas. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. How lovely are your branches. And I switched the words up. He's El Shaddai. He's El Shaddai. The God who's more than enough. I just changed the words a little bit. He is El Shaddai. He is El Shaddai. The God who is more than enough. What about it, Durwood? When you are weak, he'll make you strong. He'll give you strength to carry on. How do you know that, Durwood? Because he's El Shaddai. He's El Shaddai. <laughs> The God who is more than enough. Y'all help me say it. He is El Shaddai. He is El Shaddai. Yes, Lord. The God who is more than enough. He is El Shaddai. He is El Shaddai. The God who is more than enough. I told you once and I'm going to tell you twice. If you are weak, He'll make you strong. He'll give you strength to carry on. Why? Because he's El Shaddai. He's El Shaddai. Oh, thank you, Jesus. The God to more than enough. Thank you, Jesus. Proverbs chapter 15 and verse number 3. Oh, Lord. Proverbs chapter 15 and verse number 3. And then I will refer you to Psalm 94 and verse number 9. It is printed in your bulletin. Proverbs 15 and verse 3. And then Psalm 94 and verse number 9. Let's read it together, everybody. Proverbs 15 and 3. What does it say? The eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. Amen. One more again. Let's read it one more again. One more again. Everybody. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. All right, let's get the next scripture. Amen. Psalm 94 and verse 9. Let's read it together. Come on and read it together. He that planted the ear, shall he not hear? And he that formed the eye, shall he not see? Amen. He that planted the ear, come on, y'all, shall he not hear? And he that formed the eye, shall he not see you. Amen. Today's message, today's message, the night has eyes. The night has eyes. Everybody say that with me. The night has eyes. You may be seated. Father, in Jesus' name, we just want to thank you for this word. Lord, thank you that your eyes are in every place. You behold the evil and the good. God, thank you that you've loved us with an everlasting love. And so we appreciate your expert vision. Oh, God, we love you for your grace and mercy. And we thank you, Lord, that truly the night has eyes. In Jesus' name. The night has eyes. Mm -hmm. 
it goes without saying that in our nation and in our world, we are faced with nighttime. Though it is nighttime in our life, it seems like day will never come. So we simply pray, Lord, give us grace to stand. Because in our nation and in our world, it seems to be nighttime. We have all been afflicted by the night. We've all gone through some nighttime situations. Yeah. Night. The definition, briefly, you know it. The definition of night. The part of each 24-hour period when it is dark. Oh, God. That part of each 24-hour period when it is dark. Night the time when most people are sleeping. I said most people, uh-oh. As I know some folk, saints included, uh-oh. Lock it, leave these folk alone. Who are some night owls? Mm-hmm, got a night life. Mm-hmm, night club, uh-oh. Oh, leave me alone for five minutes. Uh-huh. Some of us know something about night class. Uh-huh. And night school. Mm -hmm. Some of us know something, Bishop, about working a night shift. Mm-hmm. Night mm -hmm. stalker. Woo-hoo. Uh-huh. <laughs> y'all leave Pastor Lock and Law. I ain't gonna keep you all day. Night rider. Mm-hmm. And some of y'all been out riding at night looking for your knight in shining armor. Oh, <laughs> y'all leave me alone now. Uh-huh, mm-hmm. Looking for your knight in shining armor, thinking you're gonna find something. Are y'all hearing me? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Talking about if only for one night. Mm-hmm. <laughs> y'all leave me alone. Uh, if only for one night and you got happy and got to feeling good. Oh, I found my night in Shining Arbor and you got home and turned on some Gladys night. Ooh. Neither one of us wants to be the first to say. Neither one of us wants to be the first to say. Uh-huh. Turn on some Gladys night and trying to leave on that midnight train to Georgia. Uh-huh. And then you then Chris, if Gladys Knight ain't good enough, they got Brian McKnight. Leave me alone. Uh-huh. Brian McKnight. Mm -hmm. And all that goes with that. Mm -hmm. And turning out the lights and dimming the lights and lighting the candle and carrying on. <laughs> what are you saying, Pastor Lockett? I'm saying we have tried to find that knight in shining armor and got caught up, y'all catch it, in the heat of the night. Mm-hmm. Because he said, spend the night. The night has eyes. Uh, but I come to talk about your night vision. Uh, I don't come to cast any aspersions. I don't come to find fault. Uh, some people think of God, y'all hear me, uh, as the proverbial Santa Claus. Y'all hear me? They think of God as the proverbial Santa Claus. In other words, uh, he's making a list, he's checking it twice, and he's going to find out who's naughty or nice. Uh-huh. We think of God as that proverbial Santa Claus, uh, the one who says... Uh, uh, and we sing about it. He sees you when you're sleeping. 
And he knows if you're awake and he knows if you've been bad or good. So be good for goodness sake. And, and God is about to get you and God is out to get you. And, and if he catch you, he'll catch you with your works undone. And we have that concept of God. But I come to tell you, saints, I don't come to cast a diatribe. I don't come to beat you up today. I come to let you know that the night has eyes and that God is acquainted real quick with all of our ways. Mm -hmm. He's acquainted with all of our ways. Everybody got something. Mm -hmm. Everybody has something. And, and I usually put it like this, Chris, and I'm very politically correct. Pastor Lockett said, everyone has something they like. I didn't call it sin. I didn't call it iniquity. I didn't call it rebellion. I didn't call it wickedness. I didn't call it evil. I didn't call it satanic. All I said was, we each have something. Now, what are you saying, Durwood? I'm simply telling you that in the midst of all that we're dealing with, there is one who says, I understand, and you're nothing but dust. But I've got some night vision for you. We have someone who can help us with our night vision. And so what are you saying, Pastor Lockett? Well, Pastor Lockett, I'm dealing with a whole lot of stuff in my mind, in my emotions, in my body. I'm dealing with a lot of stuff. Well, God is saying he wants you to be home for the holidays. If you're hearing me, God wants you to be home for the holidays. God wants you to heal your mind and emotions. Healing home for the holidays. Healing our mind and emotions. H-O-M-E. Ah, uh, what are you saying, preacher? I'm saying this to you. A lot of people like to find fault. But y'all catch this here, and I have this in my note. The same light at night that illuminates our way, illumines our path, also attracts mosquitoes, gnats, bugs, flies, etc. Preach Pastor Lockett. The same light at night that we turn on to guide us down the street and so that we can see in the evening, that same light, y'all, attracts bugs and gnats and mosquitoes. So what are you saying? Sometimes the saints who have a light on the inside, the light of God, sometimes the saints deal with stuff. Are y'all hearing me? Yeah. And so I'm saying to you, doesn't mean that they don't have a light, Chris. They do have a light. Doesn't mean they're not saved. They are saved. It simply means, and y'all catch me real quick, and I told the saints this some time ago. I said, real eyes, real eyes, realize, real lies. What did you say, Derwood? I said real eyes, in other words, real people. They recognize, they understand, they realize real lies. Mm -hmm. So what are you saying, preacher? I'm saying that we're all dealing with something and there is one who came to redeem us. And so God says to us in the scriptures, and we make note of it, he says, um, the eyes of the Lord are in every place beholding the evil and the good. And said, he who planted the ear can hear, and he that formed the eye, this God can see. And so I come to tell you today real quick, and I can't keep you, don't be surprised, but the night has eyes. And what God was saying in glory to God, incarnation, in the birth of Jesus Christ on the first day of Christmas. Y'all come on in here. And the songwriter said, "'Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring and not even a mouse." What are you saying, Derwood? The angel said, glory to God. We, we, we announce good news. In other words, God was saying, we interrupt this program. We interrupt the program of the devil. We frustrate the plans of the devil with some good news. The night has eyes. And whatever the nighttime has been in your situation, Whatever the night time has been in your life, God says we interrupt the earth's program. We interrupt Satan's schemes, Satan's plot. 
and he says, when those shepherds came on that first night, the night before Christmas, the shepherds, the shepherds said, and it's in the book of Matthew chapter 2 and verse 2, where is he who is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. Y'all help me preach real quick. I ain't going to keep you. But stars come out when? Oh, y'all ain't preaching with me. Stars come out when? The stars come out at night. And so the shepherds saw the star and they wanted to know where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and we are come to worship him. And so poetically, Chris, I've got to hurry along. Poetically, the poet says that the light of the night sky is the stars. The stars, the light is the star, the star of heaven, the star that shines. And so when we look at our night sky, we see stars. But I'm reminded of something that God said, the saints, that's you and I, the saints, the people of God, we too will one day shine like the stars of heaven. And so I come to tell you real quick, be not discouraged. Don't give up and don't quit. Glory to God. God said, you've got a light to shine. And I hear the Holy Ghost saying, twinkle, twinkle, little star. Matters not who you are. Up above the world so high. You're like a diamond in the sky. Clap your hands and give God praise. Everybody. Oh, my God. The night has eyes. And Bishop, I'm ready because I can't keep them all day. Some of y'all ready to go eat some fried chicken and macaroni and cheese and collard greens. Lord have mercy. What are you saying, Pastor Lockett? Pastor Lockett is saying, how do we ask God to be our light? How do we ask God to be our strength? We simply say like the hymn writer said, Lord, be thou my vision. Be thou my vision, thou king of my heart. Lord, you can see some things that I can't see. The night has eyes. Lord, everything I'm going through. Lord, my nighttime situation. I know that you're the light in my night. I know, Lord, that you're able to show me the way. God, I want you to see for me. God, I want you to see for me, God, I want you to be my eyes, Lord, I want you to be my vision, Lord, I know that you can see way down the road, God, you can see what's coming for me in 2023, God, you can see what's coming for the saints in 2023, and so God says, the night has eyes, even though our world is in darkness, even though our world is in confusion, even though our world is in misery, God says there's a light that shines in the evening time. God says, I got my eyes on you. God says that even though there is spiritual wickedness in high places, even though there is social injustice, the night has eyes and God sees and God knows. Clap your hands and give him praise, everybody. Thank you, Jesus. And so I ask you, thanks. Do you see what I see? Do you see what I see? Do you hear what I hear? I see a crimson stream of blood and it flows from Calvary. It's waves which reach the throne of God are sweeping over me. Can you see what I see? Don't be surprised. The night has eyes. I don't care what you're going through. God did not come to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. God said, I see you. I saw you when you went in, and I saw you when you came out. God says, don't worry about it. I've got my eyes on you. God says, people will 
people will hold your past to you. Uh, like that movie they had out a couple years ago. Uh, the movie said, uh, I still know what you did last summer, uh, but God is not like that. Uh, God says, I got my eyes on you. Uh, and God says, I'll make a way uh, out of no way. Uh, clap your hands and give him praise. All right, I'm finished, that's enough. Don't be surprised. The night has eyes. Don't be unwise. I'm finished. God hears your cries. The night has eyes. Though our world denies the Savior, denies the Lord, denies the Christ, Durwood, don't get upset about that. This world is not my home. But the night has eyes. God sees everything. And this applies to everybody in here. This applies to the whole world. The night has eyes. Don't minimize your size in your own eyes. Why? Because the night has eyes. God sees. And I say this to us. You can run, but you can't hide. Back in the 60s, they had a saying that God was dead. The Bible talked about a lot of spiritual wickedness in high places. But the night has eyes. Spiritual wickedness in high places. God is dead and they don't believe it. They don't believe that God is real. But I ask if God is dead, who assassinated God? The night has eyes. If God is dead, what coroner was called in? If God is dead, who signed his death certificate? The night has eyes. I don't care what those two sit theologians said and those philosophers said. If God is dead, who assassinated him? If God is dead, what coroner was called? If God is dead, tell me who signed God's death certificate. If God is dead, what person was so acquainted with this one who was pronounced dead that he could identify the deceased. Who is so acquainted with this God that you can identify the deceased? If God is dead, mm -hmm. what obituary column is his name in? And if God is dead, why was Durwood not notified? Because I'm a member of the family. Oh, y'all better leave me alone. The night has eyes. Durwood, let them talk. Let them talk. I'm over here to stay until I die. Because I know that God's got his eyes on me. He's got his eyes on you. And he's got his eyes on all of us. What are you saying? I ran across a song and I'm closing. Bishop, thank you. All right across the song saying that y'all got to be spiritual to the pure all things are pure I ran across a song by Erica Baidu Erica Baidu and she titled it Next Lifetime Pastor Lockett is spiritual you got to take everything and you got to turn it spiritual I don't care what they, who they were singing to what lover, what, what woman, what man they were singing to I heard the Holy Ghost say, Durwood, for all of those unbelievers who don't believe in God, don't believe the Bible, just hold your peace, don't get upset. But if you're expecting me to turn my back on Jesus, I'll see you next lifetime. Because it ain't getting ready to happen in this lifetime. Now, it's going to happen some other time, but it ain't getting ready to happen right now. Because if I go down... I'm going down in Jesus' name. 
Now, I don't know who Erica Badu was singing about or singing to or whatever, however she was singing that song. But I said, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. I said, if the man in the street, the man in the barbershop, the woman in the beauty salon is expecting me to drop and not call on Jesus Christ, you're expecting me to divorce Jesus Christ. It ain't going to happen in this lifetime. I guess I'll see you next lifetime. Y'all don't hear me because I know something that this thing is real and God's got his eyes on me and the night has eyes. Clap your hand and give God praise everybody. Thank you. Hallelujah. My soul loves Jesus. Everybody quickly. My soul yes loves Jesus. Oh I love him. Thanks. My, 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 my soul Yes, uh, loves Jesus, bless his name. Mm -hmm. Do you love him? My soul loves Jesus. Oh, my soul. Yes, 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 loves Jesus. Hallelujah. My soul loves Jesus, bless his name. He's a wonder in my soul. If I drop dead, I'll drop dead calling on Jesus. He is a wonder in my soul. He is a wonder, yes, in my soul. Bless. A wonder, yes, Lord, in my soul. Oh, he is a wonder. Oh, yes, in my soul. Yeah, 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 yeah. He is a wonder in my soul. Yes, yes, yes. Bless the night has eyes. Don't worry, look up, your redemption draw is nigh. He's a wonder in my soul. Your redemption is drawing nigh. He is a wonder. Yes, Lord, in my soul. Don't worry how they treated you. The night has eyes. He's a wonder in my soul. Bless his name. Don't worry about how they talked about you. The night has eyes. He's a wonder in my soul. He is a wonder. Yes, he is in my soul. Lord, I love you. He is a wonder in my soul. I love you. I love you. Bless his name. You call that wonderful counselor?
Is he a great preacher? Oh, my goodness. Yes, I call Jesus that wonderful counselor. Glory, hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. As they say in the Bible, that scripture said, did not hearts burn. As he brought the word of God this morning. You know, when you teach school, when you get a sub to come in, you always fall three days behind. And so I said, if I'm going to get somebody to preach for me, I want them to be better than me. And so that's why I call somebody from 1040 Copley Road. <laughs> now, I got some at Firestone, too, in Central and East but I know him personally for many years, many years. We're thankful for this service today. We're going to make a way for those that want prayer today. And let us remember Sister Kathy Swain, Brother Howard Jones, Missionary Dorothy Greer, and there was somebody else. I meant Maggie Fain. Let's remember them in our prayer today. And there was somebody else. This is why you have to write everything down. You forget from the kitchen to the living room sometimes. All right, let's have our... There's nothing better. Shall we stand? Than knowing Jesus He will pick you up And turn your life around You ought to know Him Really know him, really know him right now. Shall we bow our heads as we meditate? Dear Heavenly Father, we are thankful for this day, a day that we have never seen before. We are thankful for the beautiful message that was brought forth by Pastor Lockett. The night have eyes. God sees all. And if you're in the nighttime and in distress, God sees that. And he will stretch forth his hand to bring you out of darkness into the marvelous light. Lord, we have those that we've listed on our prayer list, and we are praying earnestly for them. You say, believe when you pray, and pray believing that God is still in the healing business. He's the same today, yesterday, tomorrow, and forevermore, you just have to have that faith of a grain of a mustard seed knowing that God is our creator, omnipotent, omnipresent, able to heal the sick, raise the dead, give sight to the blind. And he said in his word, greater works would we do. And we're praying for those greater works, asking God to continue to be our leader, our guider, the one that we always say can make a way out of no way when it seems like we're at a dead end in our life and all help is gone. God reaches down and touches and anoints us, breaks that fever, gives you strength to go on, eases the stress from your mind. Lord, we're praying for the sick and afflicted everywhere. We're praying for those in the hospitals, the nursing homes, those caregivers that are taking care of their loved ones. And Lord, we're praying for peace in the world today as they drop bombs on innocent people, the conflict, people out of doors, the storms come. We're praying for the homeless today that that good Samaritan will stop by and give them what they need. And we act as Samaritans, showing love toward one another, forgiving one another. 
As we go forth here at Faith Temple, we pray that you continue to lead and guide us and that we continue to give you all honor and praise and bless, bless our preacher that preached to us so fervently today, Brother Lockett. We're going to continue to give you praise in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen and amen. You may be seated. As we say from week to week, when Paul was on Damascus Road and finally... There was a man there when Jesus told him to say, you go up to Straight Street because there someone is praying. Broad is the way to destruction. There is the way to eternal life. And I preached the text, say, just take Broadway to Straight Street. But now I tell the people you take Arlington to Pardee or Lover's Lane to Sylvan and stop at 701 where the people are praising God. And join this family of love. May God add a blessing. Hope to see you next week. Same time, same station. Amen and amen.